objects in C-sharp that use time, such as date time, now have access to the microseconds and nanoseconds values in .NET 7. Let's see what that means in this 10 minute training video. Now, for most of my training, I work to give you an in-depth perspective on technology, but sometimes you just need to get the quick answer to the question, how do I use this? That's why I created this 10 minute training series. So let's dive right into the code. Now, I've already set up the code for us, again, just to get to the heart of what we're talking about. So there are two new increments in these values. So there's microseconds and nanoseconds. We can now access these values in timestamp, date time, date time offset, and time only. So we're just going to do a demo of date time just because it gives us a, a look at the same thing that's going to be available in time only, date time offset, and timestamp. So what we have here is a, a new date time object, which we set up as date time dot now, just to get us the start, which is the current time as of right now. And we're gonna run this and see these three values, ticks, microseconds, and nanoseconds. And why ticks? Well, because really these two values, microseconds and nanoseconds were always available to us. It's just that we had to use the ticks value and do some math in order to get these other two values. So we're not getting more precise with a date time value. Just to be clear here, this is not an additional precision that we didn't already have. This has always been the same precision as it is now. It's just that we now have access to see the microseconds and nanoseconds, where before we had to do calculations off the ticks in order to get that. So let's run this. We see here the ticks and that's, it's a very large number. It's a long uh, integer and it gives us all the ticks since I believe 1970. But what we can do is we can see that here we have microseconds. We're at 686 microseconds and nanoseconds is 500, which you may say, wow, you got pretty lucky there to get an even number there. No, no, I didn't because you have to understand what microseconds and nanoseconds are as it relates to ticks. So on ticks, you will notice there is, well, let's start with five. This five right here is the number of nanoseconds in hundreds. So it will be zero with zero, but one will be 100, two will be 200, three will be 300, five in this case will be 500. So we have 500 nanoseconds. Yes, we do not get any more precise than, than 100 nanoseconds. Okay, so again, we're not adding precision to date and time. So we're not gonna get down to the one nanosecond range. We're getting into the, the still the hundreds of nanoseconds. So you have options of 100 through um, 900 nanoseconds or zero. The microseconds is this value right here. So 686 microseconds. So if you needed that value. Again, it's no more precise than it used to be, but that value is now quickly and easily available to you to say, hey, how many microseconds is this particular value? Well, 686. So this comes down to the, with my date time object, which is an entire object, I could get my uh, months, which month is it in, uh, which right now would be November, so 11, which day, and that number, what, what year, and I could say how many hours, how many minutes, how many seconds, and it's not cumulative, it's from zero, okay? So if we say that, you know, the date rolls over at, at midnight, if we ran it right at midnight, all the values would be zero for hours, minutes, seconds, microseconds, and nanoseconds. But if we were just, just a little bit late, we might see microseconds or nanoseconds go up. So just know this is not a cumulative value, it's just over zero. You know, from the start of the day today, how many microseconds, or from the start of whatever larger value it is. So if, you know, if you're looking at minutes and then you can get in a seconds and then, you know, microseconds and nanoseconds. So how many people are gonna benefit from this? Probably not a ton. Um, it's not going to be something you use all the time, but when it comes to certain precision things, this would be valuable to have as compared to trying to gather the ticks and doing some conversions on them in order to get the right value 
for this, which again is just taking the these three numbers here to get that number. And again, just to demonstrate that it wasn't just lucky, um, 424, 424, 8, 800. So those are two new properties on your date time object, again, along with timestamp, date time offset, and time only that allow you to get those precision values of microsecond and nanosecond. If that's of interest to you, I love to hear about it and love to hear where you're using this or could use this in your application. Leave those comments down below. If you want this source code, um, not much to it, but you can um, get that by using the link in the description. Thanks for watching. As always, I am Tim Corey.